<sighs> Dave, you still there? Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm still here. All right. Um, er, 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 where are we Okay, at? we are going to call into a show that we were invited to call in. He's saying, call in, Debbie, call in, Debbie. So let's open up Skype while well, Skype is open and call in. Let's Skype in, as they say. An old friend of mine off of Blog Talk Radio has invited us to call in and talk to them about, they're talking about internet trolls, so... This should be an interesting discussion. Oh, what a night. Late December, back in 63. I keep watching that movie, The Jersey Boys, over and over Blog and over. Blog Talk Radio. <laughs> Here he comes. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio. Please yes. hold and you will be able to listen to the show. Oh, thank you all. Hmm? What do we get here? Looks like I'm getting a text. Uh, you are now in the host queue. You are now in the host queue. What? Uh, <laughs> Matt just texted me. Great. Phone's got 2% left on it. Right on. He told me to call. Yeah. So can, I'm you listen, can you listen while he's recharging? I know. Whatever. You know, it's a two-hour show. We've known about it for a week. My God. Debbie Daly, what have you got for us tonight? Nothing. I just called to be your reader. How are you tonight, Mr. E.? I'm doing great. It's God, it's good to hear your voice. Oh, it's good to hear your voice. Welcome back to Internet Talk Radio. I know, right? Yeah. Now, see, it's good to be Debbie back and I are sporting the, the exact same mics, so we're dwarfing Dave's sound quality at this point, right? You know, I was going to ask you about the the picture on your on your show page. Um, I thought you weren't yeah. supposed to be that close to schools. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. Nah, they lifted the ban. Did they really? That's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, they make me take my sunglasses off though. But I, uh, <laughs> I, we, Dave, Psycho Dave, and I went over there on a weekend. Why you is know? he called Psycho Dave? Dave. Oh, uh, I'm at times I'm known for my rather morbid sense of humor. It's like, uh, you know, the pa- uh, in the past I could take you know the most innocent image on TV and totally play out it. This is a death scenario that would have everybody in stitches laughing David, so hard. He's <laughs> losing it right now as he's describing himself. Go ahead, okay, Dave, keep going. I get it. I understand. Yeah, it's like, um, you know, like. Yeah, just go ahead and describe one, one, of those, one, of the, uh, one of the things you're talking about. Give, give a for instance. Like, describe okay, okay, that old uh, example, mattress remember, uh, with the baby in it. <laughs> What's that? See, see, Debbie, watch this. Okay, so go ahead and just, remember that old mattress commercial where it had ended with the baby laying on it on the bed. <laughs> yeah, the mattress world commercial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and describe that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the commercial. Yeah, Dave passed brother. out during this. Don't worry, he'll recoup and you know finish his story. Go ahead, Dave. Okay. Uh, the commercial usually ends with Big Brother going, Shh, and a little brother's asleep on the bed on the bed on the mattress yeah. with a pillow. Big Brother grabs him, the other pillow, and so he's the Big Brother because he's a pest. Yeah. That's why we call him Psycho Dave, Debbie. I think he fits the um, the description. Now, yeah, your no. topic tonight is, I hope you don't mind that I'm simulcasting this train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Debbie fans. How you doing? Hello. Feel free to troll the show. That's what yeah. we're talking about tonight. Feel free to troll. You're talking about internet trolls. Is that right? Yes. I know a thing or two about that. What do you think? Yeah, I know you do too. Why are y'all talking about it? Um, I don't know. I think uh, Matt and I actually discussed the issue last week after Matt had been trolled. But um, between you and me, Debbie, Matt really didn't get that trolled. And also between you and me, I've done my fair share of trolling. So I'm kind of like on both sides of it. Um. I believe uh, hmm. there are several kinds of trolls, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Blog Talk Radio has its own kind of troll, for sure. Ooh, hold on a second. I wonder if this is Matt calling back, and we've got another. Uh, oh, it's a two six zero number. All right, uh, listener on the two six zero area code. If you want to come on the air, just press one, and I'll bring you on. We're not screening calls tonight, so uh, make it count. Um. All right, so 
There's the kind that just want to disrupt shit. And then you've got the kind that that uh, also develop a personal obsession for their target. And Debbie, I think that you've experienced some, you know, I mean, they're stalkers. The, the, you know, there's there's trolls that just, you know, they get their kicks. It doesn't matter where they are. They're just uh, dickless. Well, I think they can sometimes even be cute, Todd. Oh, for sure. I mean, they're funny and they're cute. And, and I've often enjoyed having calls from certain trolls. But then you get into haters that are people that are mm-hmm. there to 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 destroy you almost. They try to destroy you. Right. I've had a few of them myself. Yes. I got destroyed. You know what? I got to say, hold on a second here. Let me, let me get this. 260 just raised their hand. Uh, 260, who's this? This is uh, FFDM. FFDM, all right. Are you a, uh, a Debbie Daly fan? Um, can't say that I know who she is. I'm sorry. Okay, cool. All right. Yay! Well, FFDM. Then we love you. Then we love you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> right. No, no. I, I figured that, that this was one of, one of your people. What do you got for us tonight, 260? Oh, no, um... I guess I, I, I called into the wrong place. Um, Did you? Oh, no, you didn't. You stay right there on the line, and we will entertain you okay, more than fine. any other show. Yeah, there you go. Stay right there. All right. I'll, I'll you know stay with you then. Good. Yeah, you yeah. Stay yeah. On, stay Keep on, listening too. to the show. You'll, you'll become a fan. Trust me. Now, Trust people us. out there that are listening on my end of the deal, <laughs> if you want to call the show, you call 646-200-4079. Again, that's, that's correct. 646-200-4079. Nine. And even if you're a troll, call in and talk to us. Tell us why yeah. you're a troll. Yeah, call in all trolls. No, I'm joking. So, little boy that just called, bitches. little young boy that just called, have you ever trolled? Do you know what trolling is? Or well, you're talking to me. No, the guy behind you. Do you think that's a young boy? Is he a young boy? <laughs> he sounds 35 years old. 35 years old? Say. Oh, my God, you sound say, yeah. so young. Yeah, you yeah I know. Oh. Everybody thinks that I have, you know, such a high voice. I know I sound young, but, you know, it's because I've taught myself over the years to sing a lot of things. And because I'm a voice actor, too, at the same time. Todd, so. listen oh, to that. Let's hear some of your, uh, your favorite characters. Favorite characters? Yeah. Well, your voice Doris, actor, right? I, I don't know. I'll just have to be goofy then. Uh, I don't know if I can do it right, but. <laughs> go first. You sound like 260 doing a goofy. I thought that was a uh, good goofy. It was. It was. It was a good goofy. Do you do any Family Guy or South Park or. Oh, Family Guy and South Park? Yeah, I try, but it's just very, very hard to do. Uh, yeah. 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 It gets too high and shit, and I can, you know, I have to be too loud, and I can. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That was I mean, what South Park. I think it's cat, but yeah, you know, it just it randomly comes up and down, you know, wherever you know, wherever yeah. I'm in the mood for. But you know, yeah, I do a lot of different characters. But and then you mentioned hard. that you also do some singing. Like what? Uh, yeah. Why don't you give us some of your vocal stylings? Like, uh, what, do you, what do you mean? What did you say? I'm sorry. You said that you'd also do some singing, which explains yeah. your higher-pitched voice. So Yes, I've, 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 yeah. I've been singing since I was like three Can you do old. any... Um, Sherry, baby. He said he was 35, sorry. not 55. What the fuck? I'm just singing something high. <laughs> he said he had yeah. a high-pitched voice. <laughs> No, I can't do that. No. <laughs> I was just watching Jersey Boys, so that's why I'm singing yeah. that. <laughs> uh, Jersey Boys. Well, well, what about yeah. the? Um, can you sing like the the Little Pepper from the Dr Pepper commercials? Little Pepper from the Dr Pepper. What the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? E. Oh, little Pepper. Like, Haven't you guys seen so, the commercials yet with the little little I've Pepper? I've seen it like once. He's not seven. Of, he's not seventy five. What the hell he was doing? <laughs> He usually comes sliding in and does a lots of lots of like Prince type of uh, vocals. Oh yeah! Oh, I mean, you know, Mr. Pepper, seven for you. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's it. Okay, that's don't right, quit your so don't I got quit a job for you. Don't right? quit your day what are you job doing for the next hour. <laughs> um, drinking beer and 
All right, I got a job for you. And okay. you got lots of charge on your phone there. You got? Can you hang with us for an hour? If not, I can just plug it in right now. Still got All right. full battery. This is what I want you to do. I want you to channel Little Pepper, okay? And Little Pepper's good for his little quips at the end of stuff that other people say. So right. without without dominating all of the air here, I want you to channel yeah. Little Pepper for the rest of the show, and just uh, you know when you agree with stuff, give it the oh yeah, and, Mr. E. And, uh, you know, like you know, you can also oh, mimic yeah. this other stuff. Yep, exactly like that. Mr. E, can you hear me? You know, that kind of stuff. Am I on mute? <laughs> yep. All right, we got it. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Are you e. Swearing here? My bad. Um, Sounds like it's my story off a synthesizer. I don't think anybody can hear me. Mr. Oh, E, sorry, how would you like for me to bring on one of the most notorious internet trolls? Trolls? Well, you said it was about trolls. Yeah. I have. I, I, I don't care. I have the ability to bring on my call one of the more notorious internet trolls. He's not. I mean, he is. Have you ever heard of a troll group called the BWC? Mm, Bill Wagner crew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have one of the members that's hitting me up on Skype as we speak. And he's, I think is he's... Is he a narcissistic, Machiavellian, psychopathic, sadistic? Well, you'd have, oh, to ask, you'd have to ask him that. All right, let's get him in here. He said, uh, do you want me to call in? He says, I'm staying up late tonight because it's my weekend. He starts his weekends on Wednesdays because he has Thursdays and Fridays off. So he said, yeah. I'll, I'll call in after I hit the head, he said. So how about that? I'm going to call in if you go to the bathroom, yeah. See? Yeah, hit the head. Like little pepper. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah. Hit the head. Yeah. There we go. Just like that. Hit the head. What are you going to do? Tap a kidney or grow a tail? Yeah. One of those two yeah, things. Okay. Well, thank. That's great, Debbie. All right. Bringing content to the show. Now, see, Debbie's a big hitter. Actually, you've um, you've grown quite a bit, leaps and bounds, really, um, over your broadcasting time. I remember. Um, geez, last time we talked, it was a well. It was back when you were still on the BTR platform, but you were, you know, you were breaking in. You had lots of live listeners, lots of BTR people. I remember you'd go to one of your shows, and it wasn't like one of our chat room, like like our chat room here. Most of the people that listen to this show don't have a clue where we're broadcasting. Have a clue. Keep it yeah, <laughs> right. Thank you. Uh, they don't. So we've got our own little private chat room. I think there's like five people in it. Um, but back in the day, it was like that's the only way you could listen, right? I don't know how you had it, but it was like there's a whole BTR group or whatever. And there was literally, I mean, you couldn't even keep up with watching the way people were putting shit in there, Debbie. Right? Did you ever – did you get to the point where you just weren't even paying attention to it anymore? Um, yeah. I, I, it, when I left BTR, I was averaging about five to 600 live listens a night. And that's not even counting yeah. on the – and I'm on iHeartRadio now. I just hit 100,000 listens in, on Spreaker.com. Yeah, that's, that's uh, a lot of that's a lot of coverage. Me, um, little Pepper here has to say something here and ask a question. What show am I on exactly? <laughs> you're on two shows right now. You're on yeah, Blog Talk right. Radio you? on Mr. E, and you're on the Debbie Daily Show on Spreaker, and you're on iHeartRadio. Oh, gravy. Where's mm -hmm. Mr. E at, man? I'm right we'll here. mute you if you don't stop talking so freaking much. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Mr. E. Welcome to the show. <laughs> you are. I'm sorry. Do you add him here? On my you show, we're just... We're, I'm just joking. We joke around with each other a lot. So. Excuse me very much. I'll Who shut does? the hell up now. I'm putting y'all through my board, and I'm putting reverb on y'all right now, so y'all sound really professional over there. I noticed you do that on, on your show. I, I've heard that. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Okay. So now you said we. What did you just say, Debbie? About going before the reverb thing. You said that you go way back. You and Adam. No, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah, Mister. You said, said me and him go way back. Adam, is that you? And that's me, Adam. Yes, sir. You fucking fuck. I know this guy. This is this is abductee Adam calling in. I just should have recognized that earlier. your voice. I should have recognized. You said you gave, gave I a said, call. I said, Adam here. 
Yeah. Wow. 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 Okay, all right. So, listen. Abduct the Atom, this goes all the way back to season one. Abduct the Atom and his sister were both abducted by aliens during and my their mother. Youth. Oh, and no. Mother. Yep. Mr. E, you they, know how I feel about abductees. Oh, no, 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 no. So, let me finish the story here. It gets even better. I owe Adam and his true or bullshit story or whatever it is one of my greatest nights on the air. Um, he had done, he'd been on for a couple times, done his story a couple times. And then one night we did an Art Bell tribute. And Abductee Adam called in and got abducted live on the air. That's so much bulls. I'm sorry. I got to call bullshit on that. Are you kidding me? Adam, no. you are so full of shit. That is bullshit. No, you were never abducted. So you get abducted by an alien ship. You want us to believe that. Here he comes, oh, everybody. Does too. Okay, hang we on just one Mark. second. We're going to we welcome some. Oh, no, hang on. Give it, Debbie. That appear and it. disappear. At hang on. We got somebody that we're going to bring on the show right now. Welcome, everybody, to Wild Goose 88 of the Bill Wagoner crew. Welcome, Wild Goose. I just Hello, hit. Wild Goose. Well, I hit add to call. What happened? Let me see. What did, I, what did I do? Oh, there he is. I think he's there. Are you there, Goose? What happened to the call? Am I with y'all? You're with us. I can hear the reverb, too. Goose, anybody. you there? I don't know what I did. It's weird. It says I'm on the... Wait a minute. What's going on? Goose, are you there? Something weird's going on. Hold on. Let me see. No, it's just interference, you know. It shows oh, I, I lost know. the whole... He's, ho- got a he's getting divots right now. Every time I get electronically... Get around me, I fucking tease it out or something. Word. Hey, Goose? Right, Adam, um, Adam, Adam hey, chill. Can you, Yo. Can, you, can, you, can you mute me for what? a minute, man? I have something to go weird's going on. Hang on. All right, can yeah. y'all hear me? It's like I have Which two. With you all. I don't know. I have two calls going on. Goose, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. And you're there, Mr. E? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was here for the whole thing. I, I guess I got it. Goose. I guess I got it I'm fixed. Here. Psycho Dave's here. And we got Abduct the Atom on mute. Good. Yeah, I'm just a... waiting to find out if you got an alien anal probe like Carpenter. All I hear is... I think it did. Can you hear them, Goose? I, I, uh, can they say something? Yeah, go I ahead. I can't hear Goose. Is Goose talking right now? Yeah, I didn't hear anything they said. We got dead air. If they said something. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, can, I can hear you fine, but nobody else. Well, I, mean, I can kind of hear too. as you yeah, were yeah, talking. As well, but you know... Well, what, yeah, Debbie, can you hear me? No, I'm going to have to fix something. Hang on. I'm going to hang up on everybody. Something is wrong. All right. Now I've got their, okay. I've got another call going with them, so I don't know how that's doing mm-hmm. that. Let me hang up on Skype. I don't know. There, I just quit Skype altogether. It's something with my system, so let me reopen my Skype. Hang on. That was weird. I, let me see if I'm even coming over the airwaves. Hang up on everybody. So, yeah, I'm there. I'm fine. Okay, let me pick back up on my Skype. For some reason, I picked up a double call on Skype or something really weird, but I'll fix it. I'm just going to reopen Skype. Um, I just can't handle abductees. I just think they're, I think they're bullshit. I'm sorry. And I just, I'm not going to sit there and be fake and act like I believe this guy's story. I think it's ridiculous. I don't believe anybody can be abducted by a damn alien ship. Are you kidding me? I mean, they've got to be saying that just to be getting some sort of sick attention or something. I don't know what it is, but I just, I don't buy those stories. In fact, I told you guys the other night, I told you guys the other night that I actually did a show with Jake where we actually made fun of uh, UFO abductees. It was a joke. I think they're just ridiculous. All right, let's try this one more time. Here we go. With calling into Mr. Lock e Talk Goose. Radio. Okay. Now we're back. Welcome Talk to Blog Radio. Talk Radio. Yeah. Please hold and you will be able to listen to the show. Thank you. Oh, I wonder if it's because I'm banned my personality. Right. You are now in the host queue. That's my uh, broadcast personality. Okay, Debbie's back. Here. Okay, okay, now can Good. every... Goose, can you hear everybody? All right, Debbie, yes. are you there? Hi, Mr. E. Goose, is that you? Is that you and Goose? Uh, this is Monsieur Goose. Yes, we're all here. All right, cool. All right, so we got both of you back. Good deal. I don't know if Matt's going to come back or not. Let's see. Um, we'll, we'll find out shortly. Uh, and I 
Dan and I just had him. All right. Okay. So yeah, I'm glad you're back, Debbie, because I was going to talk about uh, before we got into um, to Goose and his troll stylings. I wanted to talk a little bit about how trolls literally changed my whole broadcasting persona, if you will. Debbie, when did you and I? When did you and I first meet? When did you start? I mean, what, what? Do you remember what I was like? What, was I like I, like the way I am now, or or were you there in the very beginning? You I were hysterical. To... You were so freaking hysterical. You used to okay. crack me All up. Right. You were with Rich Giordano. Remember UFO show? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Of course. I remember Rich. Ugh. Right. Who can forget so, him? So. When I first started broadcasting, I um, I fell into an opportunity to do uh, the, the you know a, a paranormal show, um, and I wanted to take it serious, you know, as a broadcaster, as a journalist, um, not because I'm into paranormal. I think the whole thing's kind of gay, really, but um, I still had an opportunity to do that. My point being is that I had my private life. I had my secrets, um, and I got started getting trolled hard by a couple of the um, God, a couple other broadcasters and their little their little groups. And I met kind of a stalker troll. Now, when you saw it, what do you mean? What's that, Goose? What did you say? Well, when you say the word troll, what do you mean? Okay. Now, Mr. E, this, uh, guy, this guy's an expert, okay? He was one of the... Okay. Good. Okay, okay. Um, the kind of troll, what I'm talking is a uh, 2010, 2011 vintage um, BTR type troll. Uh, you know, the kind that would come in and disrupt, um, would, would maybe have... A, maybe a buddy or two, you know, low level amateur bullshit, but ruthless and definitely had a whole day to, to put into stuff at a time. So a they like these people like ruined your life. Um, uh, no, they fixed me. They fixed they, me. Ooh. What? Like, fi- yeah. like a dog? Like, what do you mean by fixed? No, not like a dog. They, they made me better. They improved me. They, oh, I they see. made me. They made me bionic. Is what they did. Made me bionic on the air. They made me not give a shit. They made me embrace my own fail. They made me feel okay, like to just be myself and talk about whatever I wanted to do. Uh, I've, I've made this reference before. Goose, Debbie, you guys both are broadcasters, right? Goose, you. you I'm not. Also, you have Deb- no, I'm not. Uh-huh. No, but you're on Debbie's show. I'm not. Well, he's no, not, not. He's not a broadcaster. He's just a. He's a. He's a neat guy. I've known him for a long time, and he really is. I'm a neat guy. He knows all about trolling. Yeah. Trust me when and I say that. I know all about okay. trolling. <laughs> Believe oh, me. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask you some questions here. I'm a cyberbullying expert. An I will expert. Cyber. Yeah, I know everything. I yeah. I I uh, got a PhD in cyberbullying. Nice. I majored in trolling. Yeah. Do you consider yourself sadistic? I made, I'll put it to you this way, I made Amanda Todd kill herself. I made her drink that bleach. How about that? That's lightweight shit, man. Uh, Would you consider yourself uh, a sadistic? Could you uh, do better? Well, I don't know. That's not really for me to uh, say. You know, I'm on Risperidone. That's an antipsychotic. But I mean, does that necessarily mean I'm a psychopath? It doesn't make me a killer or anything or a when, sadist. When she drank the bleach, did you enjoy it? <laughs> Mecca's always in the chat. <laughs> Mecca's always in the okay, chat room. Yes. All right. So that 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 will. Uh, that people just kind of come around when they heard heard I was on. So that's cool. Uh, awesome. All right. So to focus back on that, you uh, you you still enjoy the fact that she drank the bleach. Are you like trying to psychoanalyze me or some shit? Because that's not what this is about. We're trying to psychoanalyze you. You know, I, I thought that was what was going on here. Because you're the one that got yeah. messed up by these trolls, right? I didn't get messed no, up by the I trolls. Got, I got improved and strengthened by them. Actually, you know, I've been I've been going at this because you said 
because you said th this has been going on since 2011. You said that was like archaic shit. Like we've been what at I it since 2005, 2006, if not earlier. Well, what, what happened was is, is you asked me a question, what kind of trolls I was talking about. And at that time, with that instance... Be Oh, okay, I, so I BTR talking, trolls, on, they're, like, harassing you. No, yeah. hold on. Let me, let me try to answer both your questions at once, their earlier question and now this one. Um, that was then. That happened over about a six-month period in 2010, 2011. So that was just one isolated incident that changed me. And, and, and I'm thankful for it because what happened was is that I these were – these were stalkers that, I mean, they had, they even got to the point to where, you know, and one of them was a broadcaster, had my ex-wife on their show talking about my little dick, talking about, you know, uh, what a horrible dad I am. May I cut you off? Because I know, like, uh, I talked to one chick who uh, broadcast on BTR, and she told me about her boyfriend's little dick, too. Shouts out to you, bro. Right on. Yeah. My <laughs> no, I just wanted like to give that guy. shout out. And so I got a picture sure. of your dick on my hard drive, bro. I made it to a rocket ship. Hey, Goose. Goose, Goose, Goose. Do me a okay. favor. Would, you, ex yeah, yeah, yeah. would you explain to these people what, I mean, to have one of your friends or another host bothering you is one thing. What exactly is trolling? And you're, if you were to be asked seriously, what is trolling? Real trolling. Um... Wait, you're asking me what? What is? Well, people talk about oh, I had a friend that did this, and they started bothering me with my ex boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. That's one thing, but can you explain what exactly? Uh, all right, Debbie, I, I get what you're saying. Um, uh, all right, here, here's here's what bothers me. Okay, um, Doctor Phil, a few months ago, wanted to do a show on internet trolling with somebody I know. We won't go into details, but oddly, the same, a certain person have gone on that show and talked about internet trolling and gave all the shit away about it. Uh, he couldn't find the material to go on with. So he brought on these two fat chicks who were going at it with each other on the internet. And um, they were basically people that knew each other in real life. And they had an, an in real life IRL argument, if you will, and they brought it on the internet. And he misinterpreted that as internet trolling. That's not what internet trolling is. Internet trolling is like when when someone you don't know online is out there making an ass out of themselves, or just you know being fucking retarded, and somebody else goes. What do you suppose? Somebody go, Somebody else calls them out. I, a, a troll is somebody that uh, just causes shit, causes mischief just online. Right. I mean, that, that's just a real. That's a really generic term. Right. Yep. So today's troll. But what you're dealing with is not a troll. You're dealing with a stalker, and for you to lump stalkers in with trolls is a little disingenuous. Um, I would just call them stalkers, not trolls. Okay. Well, stalkers do Fair trolling enough. and. That's what would happen. Is yeah, that but that happens. line of that line of reasoning is flawed. You understand what I mean? Trolls well, and stalkers okay. are two separate things. <laughs> okay. Explain yourself. Okay, a, a stalker is not necessarily a troll. A troll is not necessarily a stalker. Do you understand? I understand what you just said. Yes. Okay, well, that's all I mean is that to call these stalkers who are going well, after stalker, these people in real life. Would a stalker would characterize somebody's IRL, as you put it. That's what they do. That, that's what, a, that's what a they did. A, Therefore, they were stalkers, stalkers not trolls. Right. So for you to call well, them trolls is inaccurate. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Who trolls? The, the stalkers. The, the people that were trolling my, my chat room. Stalking. So I shouldn't be calling them the trolls. Stalking. They were stalking. Stalking my chat room by no, they were stalking you. Tactics. Yeah, yeah, but what's a trolling tactic? They were stalking, you, so they're stalking. Trolling tactic would be would be bombarding your chat room with a bunch of shit that has nothing to do with. No, nah, that, that's called topic. spam. Now, now you're mincing words. Okay. I'm just saying that's not troll. You keep saying trolling. I want you to set that aside and just accept that 
that word may not mean what you think it means. Is that fair? <laughs> Um, well, it's a statement. Well, I'm just saying that you're saying all these things that define stalking and spamming, and they have nothing to do with trolling. I'm actually not saying very much at all. You're doing most of the talking. Well, there, you were there... before I was. I'm just um, okay. I'm so what correcting I you. Was I, when 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 you asked me about to what I consider the stock what these stalkers did that I would consider trolling was bombarding my chat room. That's the only example I've given. How does that trolling qualify that? Because they were disrupting my chat room with, with a lot of spamming, as you put it. Mm -hmm. Now, so what, I guess what I'm saying is that there was a stalker that was trolling my chat room with spam. Are you saying that those three can't be connected? They were, no, no, no they were there. spamming your chat room with spam. Right, which is trolling. How is that trolling? Well, why don't you give me the definition of trolling? Were you mad? That's a question, not a definition. Why don't you give me no, a I'm a, I'm that? No, I'm asking you. No, that's a big well, part I'll of it. I'll answer were, that. Were you I'll mad? Answer, I'll answer that, that uh, question right after you answer mine. How would you define trolling? I already told you. Now, it, well, answer then, me then this. I, Answer I'm me sure this. You don't have a problem when saying the same were thing you twice. were you mad when they spammed your chat room? You consider trolling is. Why don't you just give me? Were you mad? <laughs> were you mad? At times. Are you mad right now? No. Brother, I want you to start living your life as a gay woman, okay? I understand. You know, you were psychoanalyzing me earlier when I was talking. Now I'm psychoanalyzing you. You you are not who you failed. think you are, or you are not who your family thinks you are. You need to understand that, that these people don't make you who you are. You're a beautiful person, no matter what they say, and words can't bring you down. Okay? Dude, I think you're kind of bitch. Listen, you're going to lash out in anger. You, you no, know, we can cry no, together. I'm we not, can cry I'm together. It's all. fine. I'm actually, I'm actually kind let's, of let's, 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 let's get emotional I, with I, each other. It's okay. I know. I know they said men think, can't I cry. I kind of making a bitch approach about it as well. Yeah. Listen, they, I understand, you know, men are allowed to cry, but you and I can, last can time be together cried, like Bruce? that. It's okay. When was the last time you cried? Right now with you. Yeah, I know. It's rough. You can pull through it, though, because you, too, like me, are a beautiful person. We'll pull through it together. Let's do this. But seriously, I just want to know where, where you mad or not. Mr. E, Mr. E, I think he's giving you I think he's giving you a demonstration okay. Okay. of trolling. First of all, I, I think what, what Goose is getting at here is, is there's a classic tie between a classic cartoon of a troll face with the question are you mad that's a classic thing anybody that googles internet troll and goes to Im an image search will will see why are we getting an echo hey, getting can you google back. something else whoa can you whoa. google something else right now we don't have an echo hmm. no it's coming through my speakers Sorry, my yeah, mind. I'm just uh, I'm in his mainframe right now. It's okay. Fuck. All right. Sorry about that. It was just coming. I think it was I just going through his set. video card. Oh god, goose! Oh, stop a, it, goose! Stop it. He's you, just you really think that the, he's trolling you, you Mister E. Okay. First of all, Debbie, I I appreciate what you're saying about how how you've level labeled. Goose and the Bill Wagner guys as being an expert on trolls or whatever, but um, I'm not that incredibly impressed. I think what, what's happening is that maybe he's wanting to to uh, I don't kind of be a troll right now. He's trying to troll right right now. I don't I'm not really trying to you. troll you. I was having a conversation with you, and then you're no, like, you know you keep weren't. saying troll, troll, troll. What you troll. were doing was you were, you, were, you were talking over me. You wouldn't answer my questions. You were darting around. You were you know doing your own. What do you want to know? I already answered your questions. 
No, you didn't. You're getting all pissed, and like I answered all your questions. Okay, okay, let's start all over. Did I not answer his questions? Yeah, yeah you did. He exactly. did. I did. I swear to God. Okay. He's being delusional right now. Shh, shh, goose, hold on. No wonder you got trolled. Talking at the same time that I'm. I'm really. All right. You will you heard. Fuck up. Because you're oh, I just get keep talking and talking and talking. <laughs> that's Debbie. That's that's low level. I mean, that's low level. Uh, Goose, I'm rolling. sorry. We'll hang up. I guess I didn't know he was going to be disruptive. Well, I'm not being disruptive. Yeah. Well, can we just? I was having. I was answering his question. Okay, then and let's. Then he gets who all said upset. anything about being disrupted? I did. I said You just said won't that. shut the fuck up. Okay. That's the problem. Well, you're being mean and you're, you're using profanities at me. <laughs> and I'm a good Christian person. I'm a God-fearing man. And you're, you're no, like, you're you're a and you know that. And you know that you're and you're, you're, you're swearing at me. Okay. Shh. Why Only one at a time? time. That's uncalled for. Okay. Well, but if, uh, hey, I didn't make you. I didn't make you. You're a cunt. You're, you're calling. You you're are. calling me names. You're you're using these ad hominem attacks. Okay, now hold on just a second. Everybody stop. Let, hold on, everybody. That. Stop. That's stop. Wrong. Stop. Jimmy. Everybody stop. 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 Okay, Goose. He asked you. Goose asked you a question, Mister E. And yeah. what he what he what he wanted to know was you were you were getting. He said that you were getting. Well, he, uh, first of all, Debbie, he answered my question with a question, so he never even a answered my question. No, okay. I answered what a troll was. No, you didn't. Yeah, you didn't. I did. Yeah, I asked you Way before if that. you were Webster. Shut the fuck up. I asked you if you were Webster. <laughs> how would you... Uh, Debbie? What, yeah, what I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. What are we doing? I'm just sitting here. I, I'm, I'm watching right. your chat room. Okay. Do you want me to end the call? I can end the call. Well, your call or Goose's? If well, you can, I, I know, man. I just, you know. Well, I whatever. really, I mean, is, hey, listen, listen. Goose is a bitch, or he's he's wanting to be a bitch right now. He's trying, he's trying to to do his little thing. Here. That's really yeah. mean hearted, man. Like, dude, I we were just care. having a civil discourse. Care, you're calling all these other people trolls, and then you're like, you're like trying to antagonize people. That's okay, really I'm going to see if I can save this by saying that what Goose was saying, and I'm not taking, I'm, I'm, I'm not siding with anybody. I'm just seeing this for what it is. What Goose was uh -huh. trying, what I think all we just right. got muted. Well, that was so <laughs> interesting. Goose go bye-bye. No, I, I put them. I put them both on mute. Okay. That's funny. Let's see what he says. No, it was just you know, the question. <laughs> he you got know, so pissed. God. What question? And you really weren't being that disruptive. Go ahead, Dave. Well, I, I was playing along. Shh, let's hear what he says. Right. Wait. Yeah, well, I think, psycho I think what line. happened. Okay, first of all, De Debbie and I go way back. All right, and uh, I think I think I'm not sure if if this was the intention that she had. But what Goose was doing was Goose was calling in, called in through Debbie's line, and w was trying to trying to bully me or or whatever. Um, and really, all he did was talked over me, wouldn't answer the question, and just kept you know being a cunt. So you know, I tried. You bullied him. I don't think you did. Right. I really don't. Exactly. I mean, we're just you know, I wasn't really going anywhere. So you know, fuck it. Um, the whole thing is, are you mad or whatever? If you got anybody in the chat room, Google Internet Troll, hit images, and you'll see that. Google image. Internet so Troll. Get on That's his definition. Of and it says, are you mad? Yeah, you know, the long gnomes are something like, or, or trolls from like uh, uh, Lord of the Rings movies. Right. What? No. This is an internet troll. Intellectually oh, okay. stimulating. Yeah. I'm going to hang up on it. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. God damn it. So now I, I got tested Matt. He's not. Uh, I don't know if he's going to call back in or not. Well, if we do, well, we got, we got to, you know, I'm going to have to chime in. <laughs> right. Matt? Wait, Matt? Fuck. Matt. That can't be the same <laughs> Matt. So, so, running man? What Goose was not saying was that a, a, a troll, trolling is like disrupting exactly what, what, what Goose was doing, except it was... It was just he was doing a, a, a bitch version of it, um, which is where all you do is talk over someone over and over and over and over. It's it's really it's really just a 
This guy needs to well, be careful. you've seen it on TV. Certain cultures will do that <laughs> because they really can't come up with anything else. So they're uh, just going to talk over. Uh, certain cultures, oh, when they do this, they'll keep repeating the same thing. By the way, the entire and fucking and over and the over and over again. Right now, so, yeah, Pat Robertson, prime example. No, I'm not talking about that. Uh, you guys, uh, you're not getting my joke. <laughs> Pat Robertson. I can't, I can't say it without without making a racist comment, but um, raping boys is in the chat room. room. <laughs> it just happens. Oh, yeah, it's false. So it's a, it's a okay. cheap trick. It's it's a demonstration of a lack of skill, you know, as as far as that goes. And so, I mean, basically, you know, I mean, it would be it would turn into a boring listen, and I'm not going to let him do it. Um, you know, it, I let him go for a little while or whatever, but uh, en- enough's enough because otherwise he's just going to keep going and going and going. Um, and there was only way, one way to stop him. It was just to chop him. Hey, so I, in all honesty. Sorry, Debbie. Goose, Goose was weak, and uh, and that's that. that he's probably never had this many people in his chat room before. Hit, yeah. Well, that right. one. There. I hung up, but if we want to listen, all I have to do is go over there and hit play because I'm in the chat room. I mean, oh, the, oh. the no, guys. Uh, go, go, go. Uh, try calling back in and say you don't have me on the line. I'll just mute. Well, I, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to just just piss him off. I mean, I don't want to make him mad. I don't want to start a big deal between him and I. You know what I mean? No. Listen, I'll, I'll just mute. Just uh, I'll, I'll feed you shit from the from our chat here on Skype. <laughs> but just pay attention, all right? Okay. I'll tell yeah. him that I don't have you with me anymore. All right. Okay. All right. I'll see what he says. He's going to see you on the call. That's right. He's going to see no, you. No, he won't. He's on Skype. Oh, okay. Or he's on BTR. Oh, that's right. Okay. Let me. How do I do that? Let me see. Uh, God, how do I pick him back up? Let's see. Uh, add people. Fuck, I don't know how to do that. It's BTR listener 020. Let me see. BTR. Listener, O to O. Yeah, Skype banned me. No, it won't pick it up. I don't know yeah, what they... to do. I don't know how to pick him back up. I'll just have to redial. Uh, the... I'll have to recall the call. So I'll hang up on and recall the call. I'll... All right, I'll have to recall the call altogether. I don't want Mister E to be mad at me. He knows I wouldn't do something like that on purpose. He knows that. Uh, we'll just see if Goose will stay muted. Here we go. We'll try it. See what he says. Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio. Please hold and you will be able to listen to the show. Tight like a fucking bat wing, exposing my taint to your face. And you can snarf it and lick it and tongue my ass, you bitch whore. Call back when, when you go through my switchboard... And I have a little control over when you won't shut the fuck up. Okay? You're weak. That's why that's why you're doing what you do. What you're what you're trolling is is fucking amateur hour. Believe me. So I mean, okay, so the average sociopathic, narcissistic, sadistic internet troll that this article is talking about again is is in that minor level that like like goose for instance um perfect example a one trick pony a one pony pony um the opposite example of that would be like the uh the anonymous group you know anonymous doesn't really have an organization that has been discovered anonymous is more like a uh well, it's a it's a uh, it's a group that, that you can belong to, but it's not really a group. It's not like they have a roster. There's uh, it's like saying that terrorists are a group. All right. Well, you know, let's say all terrorists wore a funny looking mask, and they all just decided to wear funny looking masks. But some of them were Christian terrorists that would that would blow up an abortion clinic, and other ones were the towel head type of terrorists that we've grown so used to well the way that uh well of course you got to think about the white supremacists as well and the clan well it's not like everyone that's part of anonymous knows each other all right it's not that kind of organization they don't have you know 
a, a running roster of everyone in it. There's not that kind of communication going on. There's groups that group together. And it's it's like they do an action and it, it qualifies as an anonymous action. Right? Anyways, um, that's the opposite end of the spectrum as the individual troll that would uh, that would individually troll somebody. You're you're your couch geek in your mom, in your grandma's basement that has nothing better to do but to dis dis disrupt a certain uh, chat thread. Similar to what uh, what I've done from time to time. Um, you know, I, uh, some of these uh, Christian. Okay, I hung up the call because I don't think he's going to be picking back up. But, I mean, here's here's the way it, it played out, okay? He invited me to the show. He gave me, right here on my iPhone, he said, call in. Here's the link. I'm going live in 20 minutes. I said, okay, I need to read a bedtime story to the little one. And he gave me the link. So I sent him a message and I said on Skype, um, if you want, I have somebody on Skype that sent me, Goose sent me a message on Skype that said, hey, what's going on? And I said, I'm on a show about trolling. He goes, which one? And he said, let me call in or whatever. He said, I'm staying up. And he said, okay, let me grab a drink or a soda. And he said, then you heard what you heard. So there was nothing like planned. I didn't put anybody up to anything. But, and I honestly think that Goose was trying. I mean, I wish I would have been recording. Let me see if I was recording that. I don't think I was. Was I? No. Let me check. No, I wasn't recording it on any of my little audacity things. No, I wasn't. Even if I was, I would listen to the playback of it because I, I really do not think... Oh, it was recording. Oh, good. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's listen to the playback and see if Goose was being ugly. Here we go. You better ask your mother. Hold on. Let me get rid of some of this other stuff. Hold on. I got too many things open on audacity. You know how audacity has a panic attack if you have too much going on? And it's trying to have a panic attack on me here. Okay, Audacity, you should play now if I hit play. Stop. Audacity's being kind of weird. It's not wanting to stop recording. You know how Audacity just seems to have a mind of its own sometimes? It's kind of what it's doing tonight. It's just kind of got a mind going on its own. Okay, whenever you're ready, Audacity. Well, it's not... You know how Audacity just all of a sudden just stops and it won't do anything? It won't stop or go or anything? Let me see if I can close out of some of this stuff on Scott. I mean, on Audacity. Hold on, let me try to get out of that one. Okay, now I'm ready to hit play. Uh, explain yourself. Okay, uh, a stalker is not necessarily a troll. A troll is not necessarily a stalker. Do you understand? Well, I understand what you just said, yes. Okay, well, that's all I mean, is that to call these stalkers who are going well, after stalker, these people in real life... A stalker, would a stalker would characterize somebody's IRL, as you put it. That's what they do. That, that's what, a, that's what a they did. Is a Therefore, they were... Okay, he interrupted Goose. Would y'all agree to that? Okay, here we go. Stalkers, not trolls. So for you to call them trolls is inaccurate. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Who trolls? The the stalkers. The the people that were trolling my my chat room. Stalking. So okay, Goose is trying to say that's not trolling. I mean, I can see Goose's point. He's trying to make the point that when people that you know are in your chat room doing certain things, that's not trolling. That's more like stalking you. Calling them the trolls. stalking. They were stalking my chat room. By no, they were stalking you. Tactics. Yeah, yeah, but what's a trolling tactic? They were stalking, you, so they're stalking. Trolling tactic would be would be bombarding your chat room with a bunch of shit that has nothing to do with. No, nah, that, that's called topic. spam. That's called spam. Goose is right. I really listened to it pretty intently. I wasn't going to let Goose be ugly to this guy, and I wasn't going to let this guy be ugly to Goose either way. 
But do you see what I'm saying? Goose is really not doing what this guy is saying. Now, now you're mincing words. Okay. I'm just saying that's not troll. He keeps saying trolling. I want you to set that aside and just accept that that word may not mean what you think it means. Good point. That's a perfect point by Goose. Yes, Goose is a little loud, but he's on his, uh, he doesn't have his, well, he's in a, some room that doesn't have a lot of muffled. He just sounds kind of echoey. He sounds a little bit louder than Mr. E. I think that was one thing that was bothering Todd. Let's see what else happens here. Is that fair? <laughs> oh, um, well, it's a statement. Okay, now see, that was kind of being a jerk. Goose was really, I, I swear to God, Goose was trying to make a valid point to this guy. And then... Well, I'm just saying that you're saying all these things that define socking and spamming, and they have nothing to do with trolling. I'm actually not saying very much at all. You're doing most of the talking. Okay. That's being a jerk. So see, he drew the first blood. He shouldn't have said, because Goose did not say, Goose spoke for exactly 30 seconds, 45 seconds, one minute and 10 seconds, Goose spoke. And he was obviously upset by that, that he wants to talk maybe the whole time or something. I don't know. Well, there, you there, were there. before I was. I'm just uh, okay. I'm so what I mentioned you. was uh, when 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 you asked me about to what I consider the stock what these stalkers did that I would consider trolling was bombarding my chat room. That's the only example I've given. How was that trolling? Qualify that because they were disrupting my chat room with with oh I was spamming as you put it. Now, so what, I guess what I'm saying is that there was a stalker that was trolling my chat room with spam. How do you say a stalker trolling my chat room with spam? A stalker trolling my chat room with spam. And I honestly believe Goose was just trying to help him out. And let's just keep going here. I, I'm, I really want to see before I make judgment here. Are you saying that those three can't be connected? They were, no, no, no they were there. spamming your chat room with spam. Right, which is trolling. No, he's wrong. That's not trolling. People don't understand. That's why I just hate when people call people trolls. They'll say, oh, they're a troll. They're not. They don't understand the concept. Exactly. You weren't trying to analyze anybody, Just Goose just said to me on Skype. And I think this guy took everything kind of personal. <laughs> Are you serious? How is that trolling? Well, why don't you give me the definition of trolling? Were you mad? Okay. When he said that, what Goose is fixing to say is, were you mad? If he would answer him honestly and say yes, Goose would say, then you got trolled. Because that's the purpose of trolling is to get emotions out of somebody, whether it's anger or whatever. And here's where it gets kind of crooked, I think. That's a question, not a definition. What? Okay. But it was an honest question, I thought. You give no, I'm, at, I'm asking you. No, that's a big well, part I'll of it. Answer were, that. Were I'll you answer mad? That. I'll answer that that uh, question right after you answer mine. How would you define trolling? I already told you. Now it, well, answer then, me this. I, answer I'm me sure this. When saying the were you twice. were you mad when they spammed your chat room? You consider trolling is. Why don't you just give me? Were you mad? I think he. Well, that's good. Uh, Goose just realized he's not banned off of BTR. Okay, let's keep going. I just told Goose I'm on my show analyzing what happened. Oh, okay. And then he says, but if you listen, and I and there's a, I get so many archive listens. And the reason I get so many archive listens is the next day, a lot of people I know are in um, New England. I'm not, not New England, but what do you call it? Great Britain. And they 
they're all asleep right now. And the next day it'll be like, boom, and they'll all hit. Or my brother listens on his way to work. He takes the download. A lot of people take the download. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm going to actually analyze this and see exactly what happened because I know what's going to happen. This guy's going to say this and he's going to say that. I'd like to hear what he's saying right now. Uh, We're being mad. At times. Are you mad right now? No. Brother, I want you to start living your life. Okay, now Goose is trolling. What? As a gay woman, okay? I understand. You know, you were psychoanalyzing me earlier when I was talking. Now I'm psychoanalyzing you. You, you are not who you think you are, or you are not who your family thinks you are. Okay, this is trolling. This is trolling, in case you wondered. Everybody just calls everything trolling nowadays. Oh, you're trolling. You're trolling. And it's just so stuff. You, you know, I've said that before. I just hate when people do that. I think it's so stupid. You need to understand that, that these people don't make you who you are. You're a beautiful person. No matter what they say. And words can't bring you down. Okay. His best move at this point, as far as Todd goes, would have been to just roll with it. I mean, there was a time five years ago that I didn't understand this thing and now I do. And that would have been his best deal. I mean, he said he was doing a show on internet trolling. And so why, what, I mean, just listen to how it goes really sour right here. Okay. I think you're kind of bitch. Calling listen, him, you're going to laugh. Calling him names. I shout in anger. You know, no, we can cry no, together. I'm we can not, cry I'm together. It's all. fine. I'm actually, I'm actually kind let's, of empathetic. Let's, let's get emotional I, with I, each other. It's okay. I know. I know they said men I think, can't I just cry. Think kind of make an a bitch approach about it. Is all. Yeah. Listen, they, I understand, you know, men are allowed to cry, but you and I can, can be together cried, like that. Right? It's okay. When was the last time you cried? Right now, with you. He's just trolling him. That's all he's doing. And he's calling him a bitch. He called him a cunt. He said, you know, I mean, I'm not sitting here taking up for Goose, but I'm just telling you the facts. Yeah, I know. It's rough. I, you can pull through it, though, because you, too, like me, are a beautiful person. We'll pull through it together. Yeah. Let's do this. But seriously, I just want to know where, where you mad or not. I, th I think what, what Goose is getting at here is, is there's a classic tie between a classic cartoon of a troll face with the question, are you mad? That's a classic thing. Anybody that Googles internet troll and goes to ima an image search, we'll, we'll see. Why are we getting an echo? I don't know. I've heard hosts before just kind of when they, when they run out of thoughts, they just kind of say, we haven't technical difficulties. I mean, I would hate to think this guy's doing that. And let me tell you something. That, well, I'll tell you that in a minute. I'm not Can it he Google start. something else? Whoa. Can he Whoa. Google something else right now? We don't have an echo. Hmm. No, it's coming through my speakers. Sorry, my Yeah, mind. I'm just uh, I'm in his mainframe right now. It's okay. Again, he's just trolling him. Fuck. All right. Sorry about that. It was just coming. I think it was I just coming through. Got his video card again. Oh God, Goose! Oh, stop it, Goose! Stop it. He's you, just. Really think that, that he's trolling he's you, Mister E. In this case, first of all, Goose, Debbie, I I appreciate what you're saying about how how you've level labeled Goose and the Bill Wagner guys as being an expert on trolls or whatever. But um, I'm not that incredibly impressed i think what, what's happening is that maybe he's wanting to to uh i don't kind of be a troll right now he's trying to troll right right now I don't i'm not really trying to troll you i was having a conversation with you and then you're no, like you know you were saying troll you troll what you were troll doing was you were you were you were talking over me you wouldn't No, have... he wasn't no he wasn't and i stand by that i stand by that i I'm just saying, I mean, I don't care. I would, I would side with anybody right now. I have no allegiance to anybody. I'm just telling you the facts. I mean, I'll run it back again. It's not that long of a conversation when Goose picks up and starts talking to him. 
because they were disrupting my chat room with, with oh, I was spamming. We'll start at the very beginning. Whenever we called in and Goose was on the call with me, it starts right here. Yourself. Okay, a, a stalker is not necessarily a troll. A troll is not necessarily a stalker. Do you understand? I understand what you just said, yes. Okay, well, that's all I mean is that to call these stalkers who are going well, after stalker, these people in real life. Would a stalker would characterize somebody's IRL, as you put it. That's what they do. That, that's what, a, that's what a they did. A, Therefore, they were stalkers, stalkers not trolls. Right. So for you to call well, them trolls is inaccurate. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Who trolls? The, the stalkers. The, the people that were trolling my, my chat room. Stalking. I shouldn't be calling them the trolls. Stalking. They were stalking my chat room. By no, they were stalking you. Tactics. Yeah, yeah, but what's a trolling tactic? They're okay, it's obvious that Mr. E could have benefited, in, in my opinion, from listening to, go to Goose. Explain to him the difference between stalking, trolling, and and friends behaving badly, whatever you want to talk, whatever you want to call it. And he lost that opportunity. He didn't want to pick up the call anymore. They were stalking, so they're stalking. Trolling tactic would be would be bombarding your chat room with a bunch of shit that has nothing to do with. No, nah, that, that's called topic. spam. Now, now you're mincing words. Okay. I'm just saying that's not troll. He keeps saying trolling. I want you to set that aside and just. Except that that word may not mean what you think it means. Is that fair? Oh, um, well, it's a statement. Well, I'm just saying that you're saying all these things that define stalking and spamming, and they have nothing to do with trolling. I'm actually not saying very much at all. You're doing most of the talking. Well, there, you were there, before I was. I'm just uh, okay. I'm so what I mentioned you. was I, when 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 you asked me about to what I consider the stock what these stalkers did that I would consider trolling was bombarding my chat room. That's the only example I've given. How does that trolling qualify that? Because they were disrupting my chat room with with oh I was spamming as you put it. Now, so what, I guess what I'm saying is that there was a stalker that was trolling my chat room with spam. Are you saying that those three can't be connected? They were, no, no, no they were there. spamming your chat room with spam. Right, which is trolling. How is that trolling? Well, why don't you give me the definition of trolling? Were you mad? That's a question, not a definition. Why don't you give me no, a I'm definition? No, I'm asking you. No, that's a big well, part I'll of it. answer were, that. Were I'll you answer. mad? I'll answer that that uh, question right after you answer mine. How would you define trolling? I already told you. Now it, well, answer then, me this. I, answer I'm me sure this. You don't have a problem when saying the same were you twice. were you mad when they spammed your chat room? You consider trolling is. Why don't you just give me? Were you mad? <laughs> I've heard enough to know what I I think. I mean, Goose was not was. He was in the right. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to go over and check my chat room, see if anybody over there agrees or disagrees with me, or if anybody's even there, or if there's... Let me check in Mr. E's and see. Let's see. Mecca's always said he's going to call in now. Um, okay. I'm still in his chat room over there. Um, in my chat room, it says... It's echoey? Really? Hmm, I wonder why it's echoey. There's nothing over here. Let me check. No, there's no echo on my part. Um, I don't think that he, I mean, I just think he really, he didn't, I'm going to see what he's saying though, because he is a friend of mine. I hope he's not really upset or mad or whatever. Let me see what's going on on his show. I hate blog talk radio. Loading audio for smooth playback. It's such a, cheap site compared to even Spreaker, you know, it just... It yeah, yeah, I heard your request. All right, so if Anonymous Anon was part of Anonymous, wouldn't there be more important things to do than listen to this stupid show about trolling for the last 40 minutes? Don't you have other shit to do? Here, let's pull him in. Anonymous Anon, are you there? No, hey, what's up? 
Um, hey, what's yeah. up, man? Oh, your Skype's breaking up just a hair bit. Oh, uh, yeah, I apologize for that. I got kind of a bad connection. No problem. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, no, not, you know, there's a lot of people in the anonymous thing, and we're not all doing the same thing at once. So. Right, and I got This is you. just kind of what I do in my free time. I, you know, I know a couple people around here. Right. You know, but, uh, I hey, let me ask you. Let me ask you a couple questions. So, if you're if you guys are somewhat compartmentalized on on what you do, what is your what is your uh, what what are the things that really get you motivated to um, do what Anonymous or does, or what you do with Anonymous? Like, what are what are the oh, things you, like taken down? Uh, I do. Uh, you know, it's all about uh, you know civil rights and uh, sure. You know that kind of thing. It's it's a lot of people like to call it white knighting, but it's not it's not like that. It's just I think you and know from this kind of standpoint, being anonymous, they you know there's nothing they can do to us. Let me ask you about this. You mentioned civil rights. Do you think that civil rights has like changed in the last three or four years to where that doesn't mean quite what it used to? Uh, yeah, sort of in a way. Which, as far as uh, as far as the the quote movement goes, because I'm feeling yeah. like. I'm feeling like when you say civil rights now, it's more of a black on white racism thing, and not so much about um, you know who's voting, you know who who ha who you know the whole the whole gay cake thing. Um, I think it's gotten kind of skewed, don't you? Yeah, I guess, and a, a little bit, especially you know uh, with the dawn of all this. Uh, social media just being everywhere and everything being connected to the internet you know it's just everything is so much different than it was even just a decade ago so, where do you stand on the gay cake thing uh you know i don't i haven't really looked into it i'm going to be honest with you here. i'm not going to try to run off at the mouth like i know okay about well I'm i can i can i can wrap it up for you and i'm sure that that uh that you can develop a pretty solid personal opinion of your own based off of just a little quick description on my part. So, um, gay couple, gay male couple goes into a quote, Christian bakery. Um, they want, wants the, the bakery to, to bake them a wedding cake. I don't know if it was going to have two grooms on it or whatever because of the, the religious beliefs of the bakery, they refuse to make the cake. Now it's a civil rights, lawsuit or a civil rights issue uh, well, and you could flip-flop that it would be the same thing as if uh um a gay a gay couple owned a bakery and the westboro baptist church went in there and wanted them to bake a cake that said god hates fags on it for instance it, it, it cuts both ways i'm just thinking let me ask you this from a an activist standpoint, and if you truly are a member of Anonymous, then you are truly an activist and a actual producing activist, somebody who does more than shoots off their mouth. You actually go out there and make a difference. Some people would, would call you a hero. Other people would call you a villain. villain. I would say it's a case-by-case -case basis, depending on whatever you're doing. But do you believe, as an activist for civil rights, that a, a company owner should have the right to refuse business to anyone for any reason or do you think that uh that they should have to uh to offer stuff that is, is random like like that with the you know because cake with cake makers and sign makers and stuff like that they they kind of rely on the on the customer to bring them an idea so in other words if if they like say i'm trying to define my question a little bit better if a bakery offers you to bring in your own graphic design for them to put on a cake, should they, if they open their doors to any type of graphic design, should they have to, if they do one, one graphic design, I mean, should there be limits on, on what they're forced to do, or should they have a choice or be able to refuse? What do you think? And, no, they should have a choice because, you know, being a private company, not having anything to do with the public, uh, no, it's not a public asset, then... You know, it should be a totally capitalist system where, you know, the the business owner has all the rights to his business so long yeah. as it's not harming anybody physically or whatever. I mean, just you should be able to make your own choices as to what you're, what you're right. going to do and what you're not going to do. Yep, i got to agree with you there. Yep, that's exactly my views. So let me ask I, you this question about yeah, go uh, ahead. civil rights. Uh, you know, when you say don't feed the trolls and then you talk for a half hour about somebody, you know, that really makes you sound like a pussy. I mean, 
<laughs> you know, I'm just saying. You're waiting to say that, man. No, 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 not really. I just wanted to kind of make that point because you just sound like you're really butthurt about this one guy you called in and disrupted your show a little bit. And yeah, you, that's that's that, I did. I did get a little butthurt about that. A little angry. Well, you're, you're just like that. foaming yeah. off at the mouth, like foaming, like having. You're about to have a seizure uh, about this guy. I would say that that's being that's exaggerating a little bit, and you're breaking character a little bit on that. Well, but, no, know, yeah, there's, a, there's there's I, some. No, there, I, look, I some work for Bill Wagner. I'm not anonymous. I work for Bill Wagner. I'm part of the Bill oh, yeah? Wagner crew. So is Mechazawa, and so is Wild Goose. So, right. I mean, you know, if you want to act uh, like a keyboard warrior, like some kind of tough guy, uh, identifying these. Uh oh. I think that call just went south. <laughs> I'm going to stop it. I don't even want to hear it. He only has 10 minutes remaining on his show anyway, but I thought I was helping the guy out. I don't know. I guess not. I mean, he just, he kind of didn't, uh, I just stand by that. And I think anybody that listens to the replay of the show will, uh, will agree that Goose didn't do anything to him. I mean, he was talking a little bit louder than the guy, but that's just... That's just machinery. That's just that Skype, my Skype brings more power than obviously his Skype does because we were blowing him out of the water, to be honest with you. Well, I thought I was going to help him. But it says on his show page, Mr. E and D- excuse me, Mr. E and Dave will be joined by special guests Matt and Dean as we discuss internet trolls. And I, like I said again, I was invited on the show. Invited chewing on the cord here i was asked to be on the show and i never go on i never call into shows that i'm not invited to because i just don't do that and i usually try to stay on mute when i do but anyway so that's really all i was doing i was simulcasting his show and let me check and make sure everything's going okay oops what did i do i hate blog talk radio it's so just icky and goofy Loading audio for smooth playback. It's weird. I just the outcast of your friends. You said all your yeah. friends suck, so that would include Mechazawa no, and no. Goose. No, they they teach me. You how. think that I mean, Mechazawa uh, and Goose? Right? You know. Yeah, that's officially gone sour. Well, hopefully it won't be too bad. I mean, I just, I mean, I just, I, I don't know. You be the judge. So there you go. That's all I really have to say for tonight. So be your own judge of it. I don't know. I'm Debbie with you here for uh, my guest tonight, which was Wild Goose. I will see you guys, uh, I guess, the next time we do this, right? I'm looking for a song. All right. Let's see. What can we play here? We'll play something stupid, okay? Oh, what a tangled web we weave. Well, you know, when you ask for something, you get it. I'll see you next time I do this, guys. I took my troubles down to Madame Rue. You know that gypsy with the gold cap, too. She's got a pad down a pretty boat and ride. Sell a little bottles of love potion number nine. Since